Imagine an emergency room where a doctor could scan a critically ill patient in an instant and know his or her entire medical history. It's an idea that could save lives, also could get under your skin. Welcome to the future. My name is Denise L. Pease. I'm 52 years old. I was in the back of what we call Gypsy Cab. I remember headlights coming towards me, and in five seconds, my whole life changed. Before my accident, I traveled, I shopped, I had a glorious life. I don't travel as much as I used to. I'm pretty much homebound. This is my pouch. This is my little lifeline. In case I have a seizure, everything I need is in here. The problem is there needs to be something more than this because not everyone would know to look inside of this packet for my information. What would help me is if there was some way that wherever I went in the world, that whatever medical facility I went to, a doctor could access my medical records and know how to treat me in case of a crisis. Like two million other Americans, Denise is an epileptic. When a seizure strikes suddenly, the doctors in the ER need answers, and fast. Now imagine a device that could tell them all they need to know about any medical condition you have in a matter of minutes, at any hospital, anywhere in the world. Sound far-fetched? It's closer than you think. On a typical day, patients come in with heart attacks, strokes, major trauma, with cancer patients and septic shock. You name it, we have it. What might improve the odds for some of those patients at New Jersey's Hackensack University Medical Center is this. That tiny chip Dr. Joseph Feldman, head of the hospital's trauma unit, holds in his hand. It's a radio frequency identification, or RFID tag. The same technology used to tag animals to help reunite a pet with its owner. RFID has now won Food and Drug Administration approval for use in humans. RFID technology is very attractive to emergency departments. It enables people to quickly identify not only who the person is, but what their medical history is. And what would normally take hours sometimes can take a matter of minutes. How does it work? With the wave of a wand, the doctor reads a unique ID number, then logs onto a central database to quickly access your medical history, surgical history, any medications you take, your allergies and blood type, even an emergency contact. So far, fewer than 100 patients are wearing an RFID medical chip in the U.S., and its $200 cost is not covered by insurance yet. But 65 American hospitals have agreed to implement the technology, and the company that makes the chip expects that number to grow to 200 by the end of the year. If I had the chip, I could travel all over the world. That would give me the freedom of living a life without bounds. Now, the chip will be implanted in the upper part of your right arm, and it's just a number on the chip. It doesn't actually have your medical data on there. It has to be uh, compared. That number has to be entered into a secure database so a hacker couldn't randomly scan you and see your files. So with that. That's kind of an interesting concept, isn't it? Yeah. Fascinating.